everyone and welcome to the Excel challenge. Please stay tuned so I can show you how to create a bar chart with conditional formatting in Excel. Okay, for this exercise we're going to use the example of a salesman who has a sales target of a thousand units per month. I already went ahead and prepared a table where I show the month, the actual sales performance, you can see the actual sales per month, and the sales target on each month. In this example, I'm using a thousand every month constant. And I already created a chart showing this data. We can see this bar representing the sales target and we can see a column representing the actual sales for each month. We can see that some months the target was achieved, some months the target was not. We want to quickly distinguish the months where the sales achieved the target and the months when the sales did not achieve the target. So one way to do this is you select the column where the target was achieved and you make it, let's say, green. This one is going to be red. This one is going to be green. And this is very time consuming and we don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this chart and I'm going to create a new one. This time I'm going to insert a couple of new columns. I'm going to call this column sales where the target was met and sales where the target was not met. I am going to create the bar chart. Insert bar chart and let's place it over here. I no longer need this column and I'm going to put some random numbers temporarily. Okay, just like in the previous chart, I want my target to be a line, so I'm going to insert a line and I'm going to make it red. Down here, I have my legend, I'm going to put it on the top, and it's telling me I have two series of data, where the sales were met and where the sales were not met. I'm going to call this chart actual sales versus target. And I want to show the months where the sales target was met in green and the months where the sales target was not met in red. So far so good. I can show the months that are above the red line in green and the months that are below the red line in red. Next thing I want to do is select the bars and I want to decrease the width and I want to overlap them. Okay, now I have one column or what looks like one column and this is where the condition comes in place. I'm going to use the IF formula for both columns. Basically, if the actual sales pass the target, you're going to see the data in this column. But if the actual sales did not meet the target, you're going to see the values in this column. For that, we're going to use the formula IF. And I'm going to say, if the actual sales in this month are greater than or equals to the sales target, then I want to see the actual sales, comma, otherwise I want to see a blank and for that I put quotation mark, quotation mark, close parenthesis, enter. The actual sales in January did pass the sales target, therefore I can see the value in this cell. I want a similar formula for the months where the target was not met, so I'm going to say equals if the actual sales is less than the sales target comma, I want to see this value, comma, otherwise I want to see a blank, for that I need quotation mark, quotation mark, close parenthesis, and enter. Since the sales in January actually met the target, I see a value in this cell, but I see a blank on this cell. Next thing I'm going to do is select these two and fill down with control D. My table is filled out automatically, so is the chart. We can now see in the chart all those months where the sales target was met are showing in green and all those months where the sales target was not met are showing in red. Let's check February for example. The sales in February were 984. It did not meet the target. So what happens if I change the target to let's say 900? Watch this column is red. The target line changed and the color changed. 
March achieve the target is 1,010. So what happens if I change the target to 1,100? Let's see what happens. The target line changed and the color of the bar changed. What happens if May was not 984 but instead was 1,050? It goes above the red line and it changes color. So this is just a quick trick that you can use for conditional formatting your charts. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and you find this concept helpful. And I hope this is something you can use in your daily routine so you can get more with less effort. If you have an Excel challenge that you need help with, whether it's at work, at home, or at school, please write it in the comments below. I try to resolve common Excel challenges from our viewers and subscribers. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in our next video.